When you're breaking down these holes and you understand how they work, whether it's the top end at the step, into the pool, and into the tailout, different techniques will work better in each location, in each hole. At the heads of these holes in the faster current, fishing that inside seam with a bobber and jig, or with drift fishing right in the middle of the hole, because the current on top is faster than the current on the bottom, drift fishing can work very well. When you get into the middle of the hole and into the pool, fishing bobber and bait and drift fishing again will work really well too. Into the tailouts, the fish can fan out. That's where swinging a spoon and spinner or fishing bobber and jig is a fantastic option. So let's take a moment, look at this river, and then talk about some techniques. The first technique that we're gonna use here is gonna be a bobber and jig. And the reason why is because bobber and jig is a perfect setup to use on this inside seam. If you cast out into the middle or the far bank, all you're gonna do is end up spooking the fish or just passing over fish. So what you wanna use with a bobber and jig setup is a nine to 10 and a half foot long rod. That way it makes it easier to mend your line. Braided line in anywhere from 20 pound to 50 pound, the braided line will float on top of the surface, again, making it easier to mend your line. Here we're using an inline slit float. That way it's quick and easy to change our depth. It is a half ounce weight float down to a quarter ounce inline weight and then a quarter ounce maxi jig to match up with the exact weight of our bobber. Now we have about three feet of leader line here. Anywhere from eight pound to 15 pound leader will work out great. Whether it's fluorocarbon or monofilament is totally up to you. With these inline weights, it really won't affect the presentation too much. So what I'm gonna do first is start shallow on this first inside seam where I think the fish are gonna stage, and then I'll work a little bit deeper, and then I'll make another cast a little bit further out, two or three feet further, and then continue working my grid. So we're gonna first start on this inside seam, the first spot where these fish could be holding, starting it out shallow. <laughs> 